Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be a very chill, get ready with me, Henry is napping. I have some new products from Dior that they sent and I thought I'd do like a beauty routine with some of their new products. And I also have some Q and A's to do in this video. You guys sent in some questions earlier this week and I'll just be answering them. So this is super chill. If you want to go grab a coffee, a tea, sit back, relax, and let's get started and get ready with me. First things first, I always do my brows in the morning. I just feel like if I don't get anything else done on my face, it's gonna be that and some skincare, obviously. But what I've been using a lot is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. This is the clear brow gel and I absolutely love it. It's also been really nice because since I got my eyebrows laminated, I love having my eyebrows like fluffy, more fuller. And then I'll do the other side. I'm gonna use the NYX precision brow pencil. I'm just going to lightly fill my eyebrows in. What's your favorite country to visit? So Jeff and I actually have traveled quite a bit, especially before Henry came along. We actually took four months and we just backpacked and traveled around. We knew we wanted to start a family and we knew we wanted to get that kind of thing out of our systems before. So we were really grateful and lucky that we were able to do that. Barcelona, which I love Barcelona so much. The food is incredible. It was such nice weather. I would go back there in a heartbeat. The other place is Japan. I loved Japan. It was so fun. It was like crazy sensory overload being there. And the food was amazing. And another question is how is motherhood? You guys, I could talk about motherhood forever. It's been so overwhelming. Like good overwhelming and bad overwhelming because so much anxiety learning on the go. I've never worried about anything so much in my life than Henry. Overall, motherhood has been challenging but also extremely rewarding because having a mini me is like, oh, it's just so fun to watch him grow and he's already won, you guys. I also, one thing about motherhood I'll tell you guys is that I cry at like every commercial that's like slightest bit emotional. I used to never cry, but now I'm just like weeping at every moment I get. When you become a mom, I think that just happens to you. And if you're the same, comment below. Being a boy mom is like, a lot of work. He's literally jumping off of everything and it's so crazy. And when I talk to my mommy friends who have girls, it just seems like they want to cuddle more. And Henry like is not a cuddler at all. He won't he won't do it. He's not into it. He's like, I wanna play, I wanna play ball, I wanna go outside, I wanna look at bubbles, I wanna look at the park, I wanna go play soccer. What can you do? Next, I'll be using the Biosan Squalling Vitamin C Rose Oil. You guys know I love this so much. I use this every day and I try to use only like a little bit so I don't like go through it too much. So I apply this, give it a nice warm up in the hands and then apply it all over the face. And I do this um, after my eyebrows because I don't want the makeup on my eyebrows to move and get smudged. And then I'm going to apply the Laneige Radiance C Cream to brighten and tone. This is a new one that I have been using recently just because I'm out in the sun a bit more and I'm trying to get Henry out there always at the park. So I want to get something that is going to help lighten and brighten any dark spots, which I definitely do have. So I'm going to apply this down the neck. Now I'll be using the Burt's Bees Goodness Glow. This is the primer. It has illuminating particles in it or whatever. Warm it up in my hands and I just apply it all over the face. A lot of you guys ask, how do you get that glow in the morning? Well, it's A, partly skincare, and also I use illuminating products that really help make the skin glow. Now I'm gonna go into foundation and I'll be using the Forever Dior High Perfection 24 Hour Wear. I'm gonna put this in a little glass dish. This is the Morphe M439. So this is quite like a, I would say medium coverage foundation. I like to keep it minimal, but also just having really nice glowing skin. What inspires you and motivates you recently? A couple of weeks ago, I posted a video on morning tips and how to like basically get out of a funk. Let me tell you, when I started breastfeeding Henry, I was totally going through a funk. It was actually really difficult for me. I don't know whether it was because it was the hormones going up and down or I was just going through some anxiety or like postpartum depression. I, I don't know what it was, but I'm feeling a lot better now. What really did help was 
just kind of looking forward to things to do during the day because I think being a mom you just kind of forget about yourself it's all just your last and that I think I did for too long so I just kind of like forgot about myself and I was just so burnt out and it really did affect me mentally did a lot of meditation writing in my journal reading things that that inspire me taking a bit more time for myself honestly even though that sounds like impossible as a mother it's so necessary to do that mom guilt is so true as well because i had so much on my plate too like just so much work i really need to focus on what's really important in my life and that is my family that is taking care of myself and being with henry and jeff and you know trying to make the best of every single day i hope that's kind of helpful for moms out there that are watching now i'm going to go into some concealer this is the 24 hour wear skin correct i have this little dark spot here so i try to get cover that up and this formula is super smooth Ooh. and i try not to put too much in this area because i do have fine lines and wrinkles here so if i put more makeup there it like shows up i feel like i just don't put on as much makeup i never did really before my skin is able to breathe and glow much better there are two eyeshadow palettes the first one is called dune this is called mirage i'm gonna go with this one dune because it has like some more pigments in it i think it will look nice i'm gonna go with like this gold color what is your favorite k-pop group i don't actually know too much about k-pop i do love blackpink because i actually watched their documentary and i think the stuff that they have to go through is insane i actually really liked the one girl she has like short hair she's kind of spunky i forgot her name but i really like her vibe i think it's lisa but she is like super cool and, like just i love her vibe Oh yeah, I don't really watch K-drama either. If you guys want to know what I've been watching on like Netflix is The Circle. That is such a fun show. Even Jeff loves watching it. And my girl Chloe, she is my spirit animal. I really love her. She is so funny and such a entertainer. So an eyeliner hack that I saw online to help elongate the eye instead of dragging it down is actually creating the wing closer to the middle of the eye. Okay, I'm using the... Next, epic ink eyeliner so at about here i'm gonna like lift it out now i'm gonna line the waterline underneath so there's no little blank spots this is the mark jacobs gel liner i love this one this is not a new product but this is the dior skin and mineral nude bronze top part is actually broken but i love this bronzer it's so amazing i'll be using the mac 140s brush to help contour the sides and with contouring i'm just gonna like dab it so so lightly you see how much that comes out and i'm not gonna drag it down i'm just gonna like lift it up from here a little goes a long way with this one i've been on here for 10 years and i just can't believe how amazing my community of followers has been and some of you guys have been with me since i started my first video and that's insane so i just really want to say thank you to all of you who do support the channel i know content has changed so much in the last couple of years and i want to take this opportunity and ask you guys what do you want to see more on my channel or what did you used to see on the channel that you want to see more of or less of comment below and let me know this is the that that's peachy glow play blush do you have a fitness routine i would say for the first few months after henry was born i really really didn't do much because i had a c-section and didn't really get back into fitness until about three months and i started doing like just basic walking and then yoga stretching so nothing too crazy but now fully healed and i've been a big fan of the peloton and i had had the peloton before i was pregnant so i've been using that as like my cardio and now they have so many great workout programs on there i try to do peloton or cardio or strength classes at least four times a week and it's helped so much i'm going to curl the lashes now i'm going to go in with a dior show iconic over curl waterproof mascara what i like about waterproof mascaras is that i find that they actually hold your mascara curl much better than your regular ones. I definitely like when there's a bit of a curve on the mascara brush because it just 
applies a lot easier. I'm gonna finish off the lips and this is the Dior Lip Maximizer Hyaluronic Lip Plumper. I am in my early 20s, any tips for radiant skin? So when I was in my 20s, my mom basically told me to cleanse morning and night, always put on SPF, always moisturize. I feel like in your 20s, you don't really need to do too, too much unless you do have certain skin issues. For me, I just made sure I used a brush for cleansing. It really does make a big difference. So cleansing, I think, is the biggest one and making sure that your skin is covered from the sun, SPF is very important. I don't normally wear like really nude colors because it makes me look really sick and cold. So that's a little bit too light. I'm gonna put on a lipstick that I've been loving. This is called Boss Chick. Yes, a little bit of color. Now that I like, that's a really cute color. What do you guys think? This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me while I answered some of your questions and got ready, showed you guys some of the new Dior products and some of my just regular favorite products. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, make sure you comment below and let me know. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.